I've been wanting to add some more lights to our Bronco, and fortunately enough, Oracle lighting has a lot to choose from. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Oracle lighting LED ditch lights, and JP's here with us to be able to talk about them and even show us how to install them. So let's go ahead and jump into today's video. These are the Oracle Lighting LED Ditch Lights for the 21 and up Ford Bronco, and they were a very popular product for Jeeps, so they decided why not make them for Ford Broncos. Now I'm very excited about this product, and JP is gonna tell us a little bit about them. So traditionally, ditch lights are designed to kick light out to the sides to provide peripheral visibility to the driver, unlike headlights, which will shine straight forward. These off-road side mirrors have LED ditch lights integrated to give more of an integrated look to the vehicle as opposed to a ditch light traditionally that would be mounted with some sort of bracket. Besides adding more light for visibility, the best part is these ditch lights should only take about 30 minutes to install on each side of your Bronco. So let's go ahead, jump over to our Bronco and get these installed and see how they look. Before we jump into today's install, if you have any questions about the tools that we're using, check out cjponyparts.com forward slash tools or click the link in the corner of the video for a free video and PDF file showing you what tools you should have and how to use them properly and safely. All right, so first thing we need to do is remove the mirror glass. Uh, so it always makes things easier to pull the mirror out this way. So we're gonna go ahead and tilt the glass down. And we're going to get in with a flat head and we're going to release the clips holding the mirror to the motor mechanism. So now that we've got the glass unclipped, we just need to unplug the heater. Next part of the process is removing the outer cover here that's on the mirror. And we're going to do that with a panel tool and a flat head. We're simply just going to push down on the tabs in here. And then as you're doing so, grab your panel tool and start working it around until it unclips. After you have the mirror cover removed, you can go ahead and remove the accessory panel next. All right, so now that we've got that accessory panel off, we need to remove these two top Phillips screws from the mount assembly. So today we're installing these mirrors on a base Bronco with the base mirrors. If you have the Lux package, you also notice that you have a marker, a 360 camera, and a puddle light to swap over. You can do that by simply removing this cover for the marker, this cover for the 360 camera, and this cover for the puddle light. All right, so before we install the mirror cap, we just need to run the cable through the mirror arm. So we're gonna tuck our cable here. And a little pro tip, um, you can use a hook tool to grab the end of the plug. So now we'll pull all of the slack out of this. So we're just going to make sure that our cables ran the same route as the factory mirror cables. That'll just ensure that they don't get pinched. Now we're going to make sure that this lip lines up perfectly here. We want to keep in mind that there's a gasket here that can push this out. So we're going to go ahead and Get this lined up. And then snap everything into place. All right. Now we're gonna move this the opposite way. And we're gonna install those included screws that I mentioned. So it's worth noting that these holes are not threaded from this side. So we need to take our time and thread these by hand just to make sure that we don't cross thread this. Yeah. 
After you have your new Oracle Lighting mirror cap installed, it's time to go ahead and start putting everything back together. But before doing so, we're going to have to run this wire into our engine bay so that we can wire it up later. And while we're talking about wiring, you do have two different options as far as wiring this up. If you have a Bronco that has auxiliary switches from factory, you can go ahead and just tap into that wiring harness and then put it to whatever switch you'd like. Now, if you don't have an auxiliary switch from factory and your Bronco is like ours, which is a base, then you'll actually have to just hook this wire up to a separate switch and run that inside the cab of the Bronco, and then you'll be all set from there. Now before we get to the wiring of this mirror, we're going to go ahead and throw the mirror back together. So we're going to start off with the accessory cap and then we'll throw our mirror glass on next. Now it's time to put the mirror glass back on, but when you're doing so, don't forget to hook up the heater element wires. Once you finish up your install, you can go ahead and repeat the exact same process on the opposite side. Well, we are all wrapped up with the Oracle LED ditch lights for the 21 and up Ford Bronco. And I gotta say, these things look absolutely awesome. And the install was super easy. I do want to say thank you to JP from Oracle Lighting for coming out today. He was a very big help for this whole process. Yeah, it was a ton of fun to be here. Uh, love visiting the guys here at CJ Pony Parts. And if you'd like to purchase these mirrors, you can check out our website, cjponyparts.com, because we have plenty of them in stock. Now it's time to drop a gear and disappear. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, if you need any off-road parts, then just click the link down below in the description.